योर क्वेश्चन इज द फंक्शन एफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू फोर कॉस एक्स बाई टू माइनस फाइव इज डिफाइन फॉर डोमेन जीरो लेस देन इक्वल टू एक्स लेस देन इक्वल टू टू फाइव फाइंड द रेंज ऑफ एफ एंड फाइंड एफ इनवर्स ऑफ एक्स एंड इट्स रेंज नाउ अंडरस्टैंड दिस तो दे हैव गिवेन द फंक्शन तो दैट फंक्शन इज नथिंग बट योर एफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू फोर कॉस एक्स बाई टू माइनस फाइव एंड द डोमेन डोमेन दे हैव गिवेन यू जीरो लेस देन इक्वल टू एक्स लेस देन इक्वल टू टू फाइव दैट मीन्स फ्रॉम जीरो टू थ्री सिक्सटी डिग्री दैट इज अवर डोमेन Now, see this. Here x is there. We have to replace that x with some value. Hmm? Now, so how we will put the value x? So you can see this is zero. So first we will go for zero degree. Then we will go for ninety degree. How we will write? That means it's x is pi then only we can write 90 degree next we will write 180 degree that is your 2 pi so now we have to replace all these values 2 pi so first is your f0 is equal to 4 cos 0 by 2 Minus five, so zero by two is zero. So cos zero is one. So we will get the value one. Hmm. So four minus five. Four minus five is minus one. So here we will get minus one. Next we will replace with pi. So here f is pi. That is equal to four cos pi by two minus five. So cos pi by two is zero. Zero. So here this will become zero. So we will get the value minus five. So this is minus five. Next we will put the value two pi. So f two pi. That is equal to four cos two pi by two. Two and two get cancelled. Minus five. So here, if you see, cos pi is minus one. So this is minus one. So now it we will get minus four minus five. Minus four minus five. That is equal to minus nine. So now the range is what? They have asked you find the range. So now the range is what? So here we can write range. Range is minus one less than equal to, huh? Or we can write minus which is less. We have to write first. So minus one is greater. So here we have to write minus nine. Then x. Less than equal to minus one. Instead of x, we will write f x. That is the range of this. Now, next, what they have told, see that find f inverse x. That means we have to write inverse of that. So here, what we have to do, what the condition they have given, that only we have to take it as y. So here y is equal to four cos x by two minus five. Next, what we have to do? Just we have to replace x with y, y with x. So we can say x with y and y with x. So here y is there. We will write x, and here four cos y by two minus five. Now, bring this minus y this side. It will be plus y. So now you will get x plus y 
is equal to 4 cos y by 2. Now, 4 will come down. So, here you will get x plus 5 by 4 is equal to cos y by 2. Now, what is your y by 2? So, we can say y by 2 is nothing but what? It is cos inverse of x plus 5 by 4. So, what is y? What is y? So, we can say y is nothing but 2 cos inverse of x plus 5 by 4. So, this is the inverse of that. Next, what they have told see that? Find its range. So, we know that f inverse f inverse domain is the range of fx and f inverse x range is domain of fx. So now what is your domain? They have told its range. That means f inverse range is domain of fx. That means this value. So here we can write it as 0 less than equal to f inverse x less than equal to 2 pi. So like this we have to